Hi, this is Matt from tracymat.co.uk and from unboxings.com. Here I have the Samsung Omnia Lite. Samsung obviously like that Omnia brand because uh, they're really using it uh, an awful lot at the moment with handsets that they're releasing. Uh, box, pretty standard um, Samsung affair uh, with a flap on the front that just shows you a bit more detail of the handset. But of course we're going to unbox that now. So have a look inside. And right on top we have the manual, user manual and get more from your mobile guide. We then have this uh, stylus, uh, which is like a phone charm, and uh, so it connects onto the handset with a little bit of a string there that you can see. So it connects on as a charm. And then you do have the stylus. It isn't telescopic, um, so you know you can stab away at the screen with that. That's not too bad uh, if you choose to actually connect that up to the handset. We then have a CD-ROM with uh, software with Active Sync and Mobile Device Center. Handset itself to one side, which uh, is actually a reasonably small handset, and we'll look at that in a bit more detail in just a second or two. Also in the box, we have a USB to micro USB sync charge cable. We then have a charger which is again micro USB in nature and a standard UK 3 pin plug. Then we do have a headset which is a micro USB style connector. We have an inline microphone with a push button but a fairly simple uh, thing that is too. Uh, no volume control, literally just the push button. And then the headphones on the other end are um, very plastic and uh, very lightweight. They don't look like they're going to be very good, I have to be honest, and I'll maybe comment on that when it comes to the full review, but they don't look very good. They do look kind of cheap and plasticky, um, which I guess is kind of a shame, really, because of this you know, style connector here. It's a little bit more difficult to use your own headphones. You will have to try and track down an adapter. I'm sure there are some available, but you will need an adapter if you want to use your own uh, three and a half mil uh, style headphones. So looking at the handset itself, first and foremost on the front we have a forward facing VGA camera and a loudspeaker. Then we have a 3 inch diagonal display which is 240 by 400 pixels which is a reasonably standard resolution uh, WQVGA or wide quarter VGA. Below that have uh, key, the phone keys, uh, so we have our hang up and answer and hang up button and uh, hang up button also doubling up as a power button then we have a navigation area in the center uh, it's not a d-pad it's actually a um, optical joystick type thing that uh, has a push button as well over on the left hand side we have an up and down volume control rocker and a menu button and a reset button that you can do with the stylus then really on the bottom we do have uh, what looks like a grill area but it isn't uh, it's just like a you know it's not a loudspeaker or anything like that the microphone is here though then we have a dedicated camera button, our space for our micro uh, SD memory card, which pops in there like that, and uh, will support up to 16 gig of micro SD HD memory card, uh, according to spec. Whether or not that would take a 32, uh, we're unsure. Then there is a lock button on the top there. This is a little eyelet where we can actually connect up that uh, either the a phone charm or a lanyard, or as I say, that. Uh, Stylus can actually go in that loop there, and then we have a cover over the micro USB sync charge and headphone cable uh, connector. On the back, we have a 3.2 megapixel autofocus camera, but we don't have a flash um, or a mirror. Although the back is quite shiny, so if we want to take uh, pictures of ourselves uh, for sharing with our friends, say on Facebook or whatever, uh, I guess we can do so. There is a fairly large looking grill for the loudspeaker on the back, so that's uh, probably going to be quite good. Back cover pops off like so, and underneath we have our SIM card socket, and we do need to remove the battery in order to get to the SIM card, but that's pretty standard and uh, is what you should do anyway. You shouldn't change the SIM card with the, uh, you shouldn't change the SIM card while it's powered up. And then the back cover just pops on like so, and closes up. Uh, if we just power on, while we wait for that to start up, just a quick rundown of the specification. It is Windows Mobile 6.5, which obviously the latest incarnation of Windows Mobile, so that's pretty cool. Processor is an ARM processor running at 667 megahertz, quite cool. 
We have built-in 250 meg of internal memory. Resistive touchscreen is 240 by 400 pixels, I've already mentioned, three inch diagonal. The interface is TouchWiz, which is pretty standard among the Samsung handsets. Accelerometer sensor for uh, auto rotate, so you can rotate the handset and it will rotate the screen, which is quite cool. Operating frequency, well, quad band for GSM, so it will work pretty much wherever you take it, and also dual band for HSDPA. Uh, HSCD support and Edge Class 10. Built in GPS, micro SD we've already seen. DivX and XVID MPEG 4 and H264 playback, uh, as well as Windows uh, Video 9 playback support. Uh, built in organizer, uh, document viewer as you'd expect, voice memo, pretty standard, and TV out support, which uh, is quite cool and uh, slightly unusual with handsets at the moment. Battery is 1500 mAh, which uh, is good for a standby time of up to 300 hours or talk time of up to 8 hours, so that's not bad. Dimensions 107mm from top to bottom, 52mm wide and just over or just under 13mm thick. Weighs only 103 grams, so I guess that's where you get the light part of the description from in Samsung Omnia Lite. So it is quite lightweight and it is a fairly small handset for a Windows Mobile. So if uh, you know if you're looking for something a bit smaller in terms of a Windows Mobile handset, this might fit the bill. Quick look around the OS and the user interface. Kind of standard along the top where we have our start menu that we can uh, press to go into. And then we have a fairly standard looking Windows Mobile 6.5 layout with all the staggered icons. We do have Opera Browser in there, uh, Internet Explorer, FM Radio. Uh, we have a clock, settings menu, streaming media player, Midomi. Also quick for doing video presentations or video broadcasting. Uh, games, we have Smart Reader, Calculator and Contacts, uh, Windows Mobile Messenger, uh, Search Phone, Search Widget, which is Bing and Facebook widget, and YouTube. Now, I know I'm quite bright here, so um, we'll actually do some screenshots for you when we come to do the full review, but um, when you actually look at the display, because it is only 240 by 400 pixels, which is kind of on the low side for a Windows Mobile at the moment, lots of them being 480 by 800, so it's kind of so it's a quarter of the resolution of some of the others that are on the market. The text does look a little bit, a um, little bit fuzzy and a little bit cramped, but uh, you know it is a smaller handset for a reason. Um, we also have our phone book and a phone dialer. Because it is a resistive touchscreen rather than capacitive does require a little tiny bit more pressure and it does need something hard rather than you know, soft or a little bit more pressure to actually press the buttons. But it's uh, fairly sensitive. Uh, there's a small haptic feedback from inside when I'm actually touching the screen, which isn't bad. And uh, obviously we can change the widgets on the display. We have these widgets that we can move around the display if we want to. And uh, we can actually add in other widgets from the sidebar. Uh, we can turn that sidebar back off. We can swipe to go to another page of widgets and uh, we can have up to three pages of additional widgets which is quite cool and to say there's quite a few widgets in here that we can add Facebook and MySpace being some that are obvious there, CNN News, Google Search and on then a series of media controls all quite good. We'll have a bit more of a detailed rundown of the widgets and obviously the operating system itself as well as the handset and how it performs when it comes to our full review on tracymat.co.uk which will be on site over the next uh, couple of weeks for sure and if you're a fan of our unboxing videos check out the others that we have on unboxings.com